A man who was shot during an officer-involved shooting in Huntsville on Thursday evening has died. The State Bureau of Investigation identifying that man as 43-year-old Sterling Keon Arnold. So according to the SBI who is handling the investigation, Arnold was in possession of a handgun at the scene. However, the circumstances surrounding the shooting are still unclear. News 19's Emily Mosner joins us now in the studio. And Emily, what else do we know? Well, the shooting happened right here in the heart of downtown Huntsville off of Monroe Street, not too far from the News 19 studio. We know officers responded initially to an apartment complex for a trespassing call and today I spoke with several people who were in the area and at the apartment complex when the shooting happened. They tell me they heard multiple shots fired. I heard about eight shots. Boom, boom, boom and all. You know, I really, I freaked out, you know. Shelby Mullins lives on Monroe Street, just a few buildings down from where the shooting happened Thursday night. She says she heard it all happen. I was sitting here on the porch and I heard somebody say, uh, well, I heard the police say, put the gun down. Put the gun down, man, put the gun down. That's when Mullen said she heard several shots being fired. She says it all happened quickly. A few minutes. The State Bureau of Investigation is investigating the shooting that involved a Huntsville police officer. At this time, they have not confirmed how many shots were fired or the situation leading up to the shooting. The SBI says 43-year-old Sterling Arnold was killed in the officer-involved shooting. The SBI says he was in possession of a gun. However, they did not specify whether he had drawn his weapon at police or whether he discharged it. A recording of police dispatch radio indicates that a gun was collected at the scene. He advised he secured a black rear pistol. Any officers who start putting that tape full security. You know, large crowd full. The State Bureau of Investigation has not released any details on the officer who was involved in the shooting. Standard protocol in an officer involved shooting is to place the officer on administrative leave pending the investigation. At this time, the SBI and the Huntsville Police Department have not confirmed the status of the officer. The use of deadly force by an officer is allowed when they believe their life is in danger. However, at this time, this particular shooting is still under investigation. Mullen said She's lived on this street for four years, but has never seen something like this. We live in the hood, and, and you expect stuff to happen, but not bad. Again, this is all still under investigation by the State Bureau of Investigation. We will, of course, keep you updated on air and online when we learn more.